What up, hookers? Manny almost stand scooch. What's going on today? Um, I'll tell you what's going on. Aliens. That's what's going on. Them fuckers just landed. Maybe that's an overstatement. I mean, but it is getting kind of spooky out there. You got to say, man, things are getting weird. If you haven't heard, aliens landed in this kid's backyard the other day, or at least that's what he says. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they, look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes. Okay. Like, like, I can't explain it. And big eye mouth. They're shiny eyes, and and they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. You think that was bullshit? Just before midnight on April 30th, sky watchers across several western states saw a bright fireball streak through the heavens. A police officer working in the Northwest Valley caught a glimpse of the colorful object on his body cam. At nearly the same time, a ring camera in the area recorded a strange noise and what sounds like a crash. I don't know, man. I really don't know. I tend to think this is real. I mean, it could be a prank phone call, but there's just so much that just went on right there. And this might be legit. Um, what really bothers me is he starts talking about their mouth. Yeah, they have big shiny eyes and, and skinny and like 10 foot tall. And then they got a big mouth. The better to eat you with, my dear. That's all I can think. What the hell else are they going to do with that big mouth? Nobody has ever said that before. Never have I heard that aliens had a big mouth. That's terrifying. That's not all the alien stuff that has happened lately. 36-year-old Air Force veteran David Grush is exposing what he calls a top-secret military program that has reportedly found wreckage of fully intact UFOs. Yeah, this is David Grush. He is an Air Force veteran and a physicist, a guy that is very... Very factual, very matter-of-fact kind of guy. And, uh, yeah, he's saying aliens exist. He was part of the UAP task force, and apparently there's a whole lot going on that we don't know about. Surprise! The government's lying to us. Say what? Now, he's saying that there's alien spacecraft. He said that sometimes when the ships crash, there are dead pilots. We have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. How many? Quite a number. You're kidding. No. When you recover something that's either landed or crashed, um, sometimes you encounter um, dead pilots. Wow. That, it's all kind of weird and crazy right now. I don't know. I don't know what to believe. He's got good credit. He's been in the military, I don't know, 14 years, something like that. He's been keeping secrets a long time. And don't forget, he had to go up before the Department of Defense and get this cleared before he could come talk to anybody. And that's what's weird. That's what's really weird is he... He had to get permission to say all this stuff. So the government knows he's saying all this stuff. So technically, the government is telling us that there's aliens. And I don't know how else they would do it. So I don't know. I could, they could be out there just feeling it out, seeing if we believe it, seeing how we take it, and then kind of slowly introducing us to the whole situation. Or they could be doing the whole uh, look over here while something else is going on over here. What in the world can that be? What? Where? I don't see anything. Oh, well, I, I could have sworn I saw something. I, no matter. <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing. And uh, that's scary in itself because if, if we're bringing up aliens right now, imagine what really is going wrong. I'm guessing AI. I'm going to say AI. That's a different story altogether. That's a different video. Um, that, that requires me learning some, and I'm not very good at that. If shit was weird and going on, and I needed to distract somebody about some really, really dangerous shit... Throw aliens out there. Everybody wants aliens to be real. And hell, if you never see them, you never see them. I mean, we can do this forever. So it comes down to like, what do you believe? Do you believe that this guy's telling the truth and that that aliens are legit, that they're among us, that we have alien spaceship? There is a task force just for recovering alien ships or alien property. I don't really know. I know all I know is this is crazy shit. This is some some next level crazy shit, and I'm so excited about this. Um, now, this is what bothers me about the guy with the alien in his backyard is, you know, with this overhead footage, you can see all the surrounding houses, and you see this dude over here, the prick with the pool, and the sick trampoline. Where was he at? Where was that dude at when aliens crash landed in the yard? Was he outside? Have we talked to this guy? Have we talked to him at all? I don't think so. I don't know that we have. There has to be more people who've seen something around here. 
I think they live underwater. What do you guys think? Do you think it's underwater? They might come from space, but I think to live here on this planet for so long, they'd either have to look like us or they'd have to live somewhere where we can't explore at all. And uh, that, my friends, is underwater. There's always the footage of the jets that are that are chasing after the, the alien spaceships. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. These guys say that, that one of them dove under the water. So, so these aliens, are they living under the water? Is that the next thing that we're going to learn? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. The thing is that, that aliens are real. They, the government's telling us, this, this dude who is totally cool is telling us, and we're keeping so calm about it. So maybe we should see an alien now. Maybe they should undercover boss it and, and Joe Biden pull off the, the people mask. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know. I guess the moral of the story is don't trust the government or something like that. And uh, like and subscribe, guys. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead and subscribe. That's cool. Cause just help me out, man. I'm all right, guy. And um, always remember, man, don't don't hate each other. Hate yourself. Peace.